Hey you guys, it's Cleopatra. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's mukbang, we're gonna do a story time slash mukbang. We're gonna be eating animal style fries. I love these fries. Um, enough talking, let's get right into it. I literally was just at McDonald's. Um, you have to get the Mickey D's fries for the animal style fries because they're so good. So I have the sauce right here. Oh my goodness, I'm like rushing. I have the sauce right here for you guys. I'm gonna pour it on and we're just gonna get this baby started. Okay, so that should do it. It looks like these. And then of course we have the grilled onions as well. We're just gonna plaster those right on top. Let's just get right into these because like I really wanna try them. Oh, so. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Why are these so good? I have extra in here, but like, I don't know. I thought two was like a little excessive. You guys know I don't eat like crazy amounts, but I used to. <laughs> but I also have a vanilla Coke. And yeah, so today's gonna be a story time. Um, one of my subscribers, oh my goodness, I totally forgot the name. Um, I'll insert it like right here. Thank you so much for asking me to do a story time because I love story times, honestly. I'm gonna tell you guys some tea. I'm gonna tell you guys about this crazy New York fight story time. So, this story <laughs> takes place many moons ago. Um, actually, it was a couple years ago. And a little bit of a backstory before we go like head on into this um, this whole story. Uh, this girl, we're gonna call her Amy. Hmm. A for Amy. And there's a B as well. So. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So we're gonna call B Beatrice. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That's too much. We're gonna call her Brittany. So Amy and Brittany. Um, Brittany's kind of random. I cheered with her or whatever back in high school. Same with Amy. But Amy and I were best friends. I mean, Amy used to ding dong dish my house when I was literally like seven years old. And looking back, it was probably shade. Like literally, it was probably shade. All right, so anyways, let me get into it. So basically, we're best friends or whatever. I mean, we've known each other forever. We went to middle school together. So we're still cool. Like I said, this is like years ago. And one weekend she's like hey like the weekend's coming up like on a thursday she's like hey the weekend's coming up let's go to new york because i know she knows people from like real estate school or like something like that i don't know oh my goodness. i'm like something along those lines right so i'm like and i don't know at that point i feel like i just wanted to work and like just chill out i was going to japan I was going to Japan in August. So, and this was like July. So, I don't know. I just felt like I wanted to hang out. I didn't really want to leave. But I was like, I was contemplating it. Like, she asked me just for the weekend. Acting like, you know, it's all like inclusive. Like, she's going to, you know, pay for everything. Like, she's going to have a car uh, to get us there. And all this stuff. So, I'm like, okay, like, why not? Eventually, I give in and I say, let's do it. I could use a break. I'm pretty sure we all could. <laughs> but. You guys, I'm about to raw dog it without the napkins. Like, literally. <laughs> like, zero napkins. Okay, so. So, the weekend rolls around. They come to get me. Everything, like, seems peachy and creamy, right? And, you know, we're on the, the drive. And I can, like, tell, like, 
it was getting a little petty and it was getting a little a little heated like I don't think he is the word. I think it was getting, it was like escalating. I'm gonna use that word. Now, in hindsight, she definitely had a problem with me because the story's pretty outrageous. Like, I'm gonna get there. I swear I'm gonna get there, but she definitely just like didn't like me or something or had it out for me for a long time. And it probably was just a Bruin, you know? So. It's just, like, I would want to, like, listen to a song. And then she'd be like, why do you want to listen to that song? Ew. And then I would be like, oh, like, I like this person. Let's listen to them. Ew, they're weird. Like, why do you want to listen to them? Like, haha. And like I said, I don't care about stuff like that. Like, whatever. I was literally in the backseat, like, like, literally minding my business. So... The ride was, like, weird. And then we get there. And, of course, like like I said, the tensions are getting, like, a little bit. But we're getting a little more excited. Because we just got to the city. But we need to find parking. And if you've ever been in New York City, it's, like, a damn jungle. Like, literally a jungle. Like, a boogie said it. So, <laughs> so literally, we're trying to find parking. And she's clearly, like, getting upset. Like, oh, my God. Like, blah, 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 blah. I'm, like, go over here. Like, do this, do that. No, 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 blah, 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 whatever. I'm like, this is just like, what, like, what? Okay, whatever. Like, you figure it out then. So then she eventually does, and we end up, like, parking in this lot, and it's, like, 200 a day, and she said that the parking was situated. Like, we didn't have to worry about paying for parking. You guys, I apologize in advance for these nails, like, literally. I just, like, I don't want to do them. I cut them so short. Uh... Oh, my goodness. That was, like, a lot, lot. But anyways... I feel like I cut them way too short, like, out of anxiety. I do that a lot. I think it's anxiety. But anyways. So. Or stress or something. So, basically, we have to pay, like, $200 for parking. And I'm not being cheap or nothing. That's literally what she said. She said we were all good, blah, blah, blah. Because I'm like, I don't really know if I want to go type thing. Like, how much is this going to cost me? And she's, like, assuring me I'm fine. Like, just come along. I'm like, okay, cool. Now I got to pay 200 for parking, whatever, right? I'm not even done, though. Then we, like, get to the hotel. And I'm pretty sure, like, once again, like, we're good on, like, a hotel. Like, we're good. She literally meant that it was in, like, the cheapest room. It was one bed. And I'm like, where, where are we all sleeping? Like, there's no polo bed. There's one bed and a chair. Like, is homegirl sleeping in the chair? Or am I homegirl that's sleeping in the chair? It's so weird. So, I'm just like, I don't know, man. The vibe was off, and it was really hot. We went in July. In New York, it's really hot. So, it's hot as hell. You know, we're walking around, um... We're having fun, but it just seems like Amy's the one that, like, doesn't, like, isn't having fun. Like, she's just trying to be, like, a hater. It's like, let's go eat over here. And she's just like, no, that's gross. Or then it's like, we finally compromise. And then she's like, oh, um, the woman's like, it's a 45-minute wait. It's like, we couldn't, we just couldn't win. And like I said, it was just getting, like, worse and worse and worse. Like, over petty stuff, like, oh, you're walking too slow. Or, like, why do you need a break? I'm like, honey, I'm winded, like. <laughs> I don't know, like, she was just, like, the vibe was off. And that's why I like to travel alone, off topic, but, like, whatever. <laughs> mm. You guys, I, like, invited this girl to go to Japan with me and everything, too. And I'm just so happy she didn't go. No, well, obviously, but... Like, technically, it would have been her problem because she would have bought a flight. But, like, dude, she would not be staying with me. Hell no. But, anyway, she didn't go. Um, You know, she's getting mad at me for everything and whatever, okay? So, then moving on to that night. <sighs> the night of nights, right? I'm pretty sure we're supposed to live two nights and this is the first night. So, spoiler, spoiler alert, like, it's already ruined, like... I just, I, whatever. So, 
It was so good. And I'm about to eat the whole thing. I should probably talk faster. <laughs> so literally, we're going to the Playboy Club that night. She's like, we're going to the Playboy Club with like all my friends or whatever. So I'm like, oh, sweet. Like, I'm like, cool, whatever, I guess. Like, I don't even know. I think we, like, were getting in the tiff because, like, I'm just weird. Like, sometimes I just, like, don't care to go out. Not that I was trying to be a Debbie. I wasn't. It was just, like, I feel like she wanted me to be, like, over the moon, like, like, spazzing out, like, st like, like taking shots, like, left and right. And, like, I was just, like, okay, like, whatever. Because I feel like my vibe was off. So why would I be, like, off the wall excited to go to this club with you? I don't know, dude. It was weird. And it's weird because when we go back to the hotel to go get ready... Uh, she, she actually did she like immediately accused me of being like accused me of being boring and just like sitting there or something and I'm, I'm just like dude what do you want me to do like what do you want me to do I was drinking a glass of wine on my phone and like they were playing music and I think she was like tweaking tw uh, plucking her eyebrows I said tweaking I was gonna say tweeze tweezing her eyebrows like literally tweezing her eyebrows I'm like what do you want me to do like song and dance so I'm just like, what is with this? Like in my head, I'm like, what is with this like weird like energy? Okay, so anyways, and then we're about to go out, so we're like getting ready eventually. Like you know, I think we just wanted to like relax for a minute, or at least I did. So we finally like start getting ready. Um, I like to wear heels like a lot, especially on vacation. So I was wearing heels that day all day so my feet were like all cut up so i was definitely not wearing heels to the club and like i'm sorry but you girls cute like i dude i didn't need to like dress to the nines like trust me i was dressed very nice i had a nice black dress on cut shoulder like i looked cute but i had these flats on like they were they're cute though they're like velvet like studded and <clears throat> i had the matching bag and everything She's like, you're not going to get into the club. Like, you need to put heels on. And I'm just like, honey, sit down. I'm like, I'll figure it out if that, come, if, if that um, comes about. But it's not coming about. So in my head, I just shrugged her off. Like, okay, yeah. Like, I'll figure it out from there. So, <laughs> what? So eventually, we literally finally go to this club. Mind you, she's taking forever to get ready. Like, they were taking forever, Okay. Like, trust me, like, I know everybody takes long. Like, I took I took long, too. Like, they took, like, excessive amounts of time. Like, we wasted, like, a good two hours when we could have been out of the club. Mm. We finally get to this damn club. And to be honest with you, it was it was popping. Like, it was a banger. It was a popping banger. <laughs> so, I mean, actually, like, time of my life. Like, it was really fun. And, you know, this was, this was years ago. So, we're hanging out with her friends. Um, you know, it's, like, a couple dudes. And then it's, like, these girls. And, like, all the girls were really cool. Um, I really love New York girls. I feel like anybody from New York, like, love you guys. Like, everybody's treated me very well. It's funny how the people that, like, are from my hometown were doing this to me. Because, like I said, everybody's been really nice. So, they're awesome. Everybody's awesome. And it's wicked funny. Because, like, obviously we get in immediately. And I felt like everybody was kind of like, I don't even know, like, they liked me. Like, I don't, it sounds, oh my goodness. It sounds really corny, but like, I, I could tell everybody was vibing with me. And it was genuine, and we were just like, having a good night. And I could tell she really didn't like that. Like, every time I took a video or a photo, like, if I, like, looked at my videos the next day, like, she was in the background. Like, literally, like, like, legitimately scoping me out. And, like, definitely, like, like riding the wave, like, trying to be like, oh, hey, hey, like, oh, I'm over here, too, like like pick me pick me or whatever and I like hit it off with um one of her uh friends is like boys and like I said this is years ago so like I like see this guy and like we're like chatting like we we're having a ball like we we're having a great time or whatever and like I could just tell um like whatever she was following me around but it, it was okay it was all right like we were having a good night um I think we were both pretty pretty uh pretty on one so it was like you know we were like we were like drunk so I remember I fell down the stairs too <laughs> but anyways 
so i mean we had a great night if you think about it and this is like where it gets wicked ugly it does a complete 180 so basically the club closes at four it's four a.m we have to leave they're like okay kick rocks i walk outside and they already were like okay like we're going outside and i was like okay like i'm coming but I was with that guy or whatever. So I'm with him and we're about to leave. We're literally just like trying to get through the pack of people. Leaving. Like everybody had to leave. We finally get outside. I don't think it was five minutes. Like it had been like literally five minutes. And like. I'm talking to him or whatever. And then eventually he's like. Oh yeah like come back with me to Staten Island. And I'm just like, now, like, I mean, come on. I'm not doing that type of thing. I'm not like that. So I'm like, yeah, no, like, it's been real. Um, text me tomorrow, and that's it. Because, like, we were going to go to this beach party with him. So anyways, I leave him, basically. Like, okay, see you later. And then I, like, move on. Or I'm just like, I'm not even moving on. <laughs> I'm just, like, walking away. And then this other guy is, like, standing there. And, like I said, I'm just kind of, like, chatting to anybody that, like, wants to hear it. You guys, I, like, have fries at this point. Like, I don't even have sauce. Like, I'm wicked upset. And it's, like, spilling all over the floor. But, like, I'm literally, at this point, talking to a stranger. And I'm, like, where are my friends? Like, blah, 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 blah. So, eventually, I just called them. And I'm, like, where are you guys? Like, I'm outside. Like, where are you? And they're, like, we left. Like, where did you go? To the corner store to get me a snack? Like, where in the world did you go? And they're like, we went to the hotel. I'm like, oh, bet. Like, you went to the hotel. I'm a mile and a half away from the hotel. And I'm alone. And mind you, I didn't tell you guys this, but I lost $20. That's literally all I brought with me. Like, everything was paid for that night. So, what? We, we had a table and bottles. So, I'm like, why would I really need money anyways? We were in and out. Like I said, I wasn't, like, taking it as this crazy, crazy, crazy night type thing. So I literally take, like, a 20, lose the 20. I don't have an Uber account. And whatever. Like, I'm not even going to act like that's, like, my bad or my problem. Like, because I'm going to tell you guys. Like, they left me. And I'm just like, you need to, like, figure this out. So I'm talking to this kid. And he's claiming he knows Trippy Red. And I'm like, excuse me? Like, because he claims he's, like, a model, and he's in the industry. So I'm like, what? Like, what are you talking about? And then eventually I'm like, who do you know? Who do you know? Like, being funny. And he's like, I know Trippy. I think I asked him if he knew Trippy, because I was, like, listening to Trippy's music, like, that night. And I'm like, you know Trippy Red, you know Trippy Red, and Trippy Red, and, like, I love Trippy Red. I think I told you guys this story. And he's like, yeah, and then he, like, gets his phone out. And he literally, like, like dials in, like, this, like trippy. It literally said trippy. And I was, like, honestly, though, thinking about it, why would you have a, a contact that said trippy, like, on speed dial? Like, that is a little weird. Whatever, okay? I'm not putting it against him. I'm not saying he's not a model. He's talking about a million dollars. I have a penthouse, whatever. I'm like, okay, cool. And then he's, like, trying to get me to go to the penthouse. He's like, just come to the after party. Like, your friends left you. Like, just come, to, come with me to the after party. And I'm like um no like what do you mean like i'm not gonna like go to this after party like i need to get back to my hotel i'm freaking out it's four in the morning he's like oh yeah just come to the party i'm like no so eventually he agrees to bring me to my hotel and mind you guys i don't have any other like resource at this point like homeboy already left and they told him to leave like i know he was gonna help me but like i didn't want to call him and act like i'm this like crazy person he wasn't like crossing my mind i wasn't thinking about him it was like get me home you know this kid's like, I'm gonna just, like, uh, um, we'll get in the cab, you'll go to your place, and then I'm going home. So I'm like, all right, cool. So we get in the cab, and then he's like, yeah, this is my penthouse and my, um, address. And I'm like, no. Like, no, I'm not going there. Like, it was on the verge of, like, me hopping out of the, the cab. I was like, sir, pull this cab over if you know what's good for you. Like, literally, because I was, like, not even trying to be a dramatic, but I'm like, let me out. Like, no, at this point, no, because I don't have the money to pay for this. Just let me out. So eventually, he finally just, like, let me out. And the model kid, like, laid off, too. He was just like, like, are you good? I'm like, yeah, he's like, let me out. I get out. They're still trying to help me, and I'm just like, dude, leave, because I'm like, this is so creepy. Like, you're trying to take me to this, like, penthouse thing, and I'm not going there. 
But you guys, this leaves me in the middle of the street. Oh my goodness. This leaves me in the middle of the street in New York, like in Manhattan. And it's 4.30 at this point, 5, 5 a.m., like who the hell knows? And like, I'm literally wearing a mini dress. Like I'm literally on the verge of tears. I was crying, honestly. Like I just started walking. Like I put it in my GPS where the hotel was. And it was 40, I think it was 45 minutes, 45 minute walk, mile and a half. Dude. I was, like, crying, like, no, I wasn't crying, because I started walking, I see six guys just piled up, just, like, standing around in a circle, I'm like, oh my god, like, here it comes, and I, like, I just started sobbing, and all of a sudden, like, these men, they're, like, just amazing, and they were like, what's the matter, and I was like, I can't get home, and, like, they were all cab drivers, they had their cabs. And I, like, didn't really think of that beforehand. I didn't see that. All I saw was, like, a bunch of men. And I'm, like, I'm scared. And then they, like, literally were, like, where do you need to go? Because I was, like, I don't have money. Like, I don't have my money. Like, I don't have any money. Like, I don't have money. Like, like type of thing. It's, like, don't help me. I don't have any money. And they were, like, where do you need to go? Right now. And I was, like, okay. I need to go here. Like, I'll pay you. Like, I, I'll pay you the best tip ever. Like, I was just, like, so grateful. So one of them is like, perfect, like, here you go. So we get him. And he's just like, what's going on? And I'm like, I'm like, these girls left me. Like, I'm literally in the middle of Manhattan alone. Like, I was like, I brought $20 with me to like a club that was already paid for. And like, I'm freaking out. Like, I'm alone. And like, they're not helping me. I don't even think they were answering me. They weren't helping me. Because if they were going to help me, they never would have left in the first place. Okay. So basically, he brings me to the hotel. I'm like, sir, give me one minute, because I gotta go get him his money, you know what I mean, his tip and all that, like, I gave this man, like, all my money, so, I go upstairs, and I'm just, like, to these girls, like, give me one hot second, because I'm literally, give me one hot second, <laughs> like, I wasn't even gonna do anything, but I was literally gonna be like, what is wrong with you, so I literally go downstairs, give him the money, send him on his way, I go upstairs, same thing, like, what in the world is wrong with you? And, you know, honestly, you guys, like, it turned, like, super escalated. Like, she's like, you're stupid and, like, just drunk. And, like, you don't, you don't listen to me. You're like, you aren't listening to me. So we left. And I'm like, you don't leave your friends in the middle of Manhattan at 4 a.m. What's wrong with you? And she definitely got, like, wicked offended. And, like, honestly, like, it was a blur. Like, you know how, like, I don't know if you guys have ever gotten in on all education, but, like, it was a blur in, like, She's like, I'm gonna kill you, like, I swear to God, I'll kill you, like, I swear to God, I'll kill you. I'm like, do it, do it! Like, I'm literally, like, standing there, literally as solid as gold, like, Brittany could vouch for me. I'm like, just do it! Like, I'm like, hit me, I'm like, what is wrong with you? Like, and then, um, I said, like, I was, she, no, she said something along the lines of, we called you to leave. And I'm like, no, you didn't, no, you didn't, no, you didn't, no, you didn't. Here's my call log, no, you didn't. And then I put it on my dead friend's soul. And she literally was like, he's a junkie. Like, literally. Because he overdosed. And I'm just like, dude. But the thing is, like, okay, you guys, think in the moment. Like, we're fighting. In the moment, I feel like she thought that was going to offend me to the point where I was going to hit her. So, I think she automatically, her instinct was to hit me first, but she didn't hit me. And I don't think she wanted to hit me. Like, I think she's just, like, a lunatic, and she is a lunatic. So, she gives me, like, the push of my life. And, like, mind you, like, I'm not, like, the smallest, but I'm a small girl. And she's not the biggest girl, but she's bigger than me. And, like, literally, like, she flung me. She's, like, she's brawlic. Like, this girl's brawlic. So, she shrugs me, but, oh, my God, I get... You guys, I missed out the best part. She throws a wine bottle right before this. Like, just getting angry, like, getting mad, getting in my face. I'm like, hit me, hit me, hit me. She takes a wine bottle like this and whips it across that way, like, almost near my head. So the wine bottle obviously smashes on the wall. And then eventually I'm like, hit me, hit me, like, on this one, on this one's soul, like, I would never. And she said that. And then she throws me basically in the direction of this glass this shattered glass and I literally fell into the glass and I was bleeding like really intensely like literally like on my ass like on my butt like um I remember on my hands and my arms and like dude it was wicked intense and I just started like having one of those like I don't even know what you call it like a mental breakdown like a 
like a panic attack. And I'm like, I'm like, don't touch me, get away from me, like, I hate you people, like, I'm leaving, like, all this stuff. This girl has the audacity to be like, no, just stay, just stay. I'm like, what? So I literally proceed to clean the blood off myself. Like, it's getting graphic, like, literally clean the blood. I mean, like, honestly, I didn't think I cleaned the blood. I didn't. I cleaned my hands. And then I grabbed my phone, and I ran, like, literally outside. And I'm literally looking for, like, a flight at this point. Like, I'm going home. Like, I wanted a flight. So, literally, I'm, like, looking at flights. They're, like, $400. I'm, like, I need to go home. I'm, like, on Greyhound website. Like, I'm on the phone with people. And, like, I was, like, hysterically crying. I'm, like, I need the next bus to Boston. Like, literally, like, convulsing. And... Mind you, now it's, like, 6 a.m., okay? Like, it's getting later and later and later and later. And I'm, like, honestly not even trying to be disrespectful, but, like, I was in the hallway, like, freaking out. And, like I just said, if you've been in New York, you know, like, anything goes. It's kind of crazy, and, like, nothing happened. Like, nobody came outside and complained. Or was, like, this girl's mad crazy. Like, what is she doing? Like, nothing like that happened. And then, basically... You guys, I ate all this. I'm proud of myself. And then, basically, I get a Greyhound for, like, 7.30 in the morning. And I just, like, literally... They eventually knocked out because I was outside for, like, a solid hour. So, now it's, like, 7 o'clock. Oh, no, my, my Greyhound was, like, at 9. So, now it's, like, 7 o'clock or, like, 10. I keep pushing it back. But this is where it gets kind of, like, funny. Like, it's funny now, but in the time being, like, it's sad. Like, like girl, girlfriend is nuts. So, basically, I sat there and watched them like a hawk all night. Well, that two hours. I was scared for my life. And they're, like, sleeping. And in my head, I'm like, where, where was I supposed to sleep? Like, on the edge of this bed? Like, on this chair? So, eventually, it's, like, my time to roll. Like, it's my time to, like, head out. But, like, honestly, like, I left wicked early. I was like, I just want to get out of here. So I leave, got, like, my little Greyhound ticket number inside of the hotel room, like, an idiot, and I was, like, freaking out. I was like, what if they don't, like, give me my ticket? Like, I was uh, begging this girl, Brittany. I called her. And I was like, Brittany, please give me this ticket. Like, I need to go home. And she did. And, like, I had to tell my mom the whole thing, which is, like, super embarrassing and, like, not her problem. Like, sorry, mom. And she was just, like, she felt so bad. And she was, like, I sent her photos. Like, you guys, I literally left that hotel room. And I looked mad crazy, like, I'm, like, bloody, I'm, like, disheveled, I'm, like, wearing a sweatshirt, it's, like, a million degrees, I remember I was sweating to death, and then I literally had to get a, on a Greyhound, and it was so sweaty, like, it was, like, honestly, just, like, the worst experience getting home, too, but honestly, you guys, like, this is, a this is, like, a, the moral of the story, I mean, people are gonna show you their true colors one way or the other, but I feel like sometimes you just have a gut feeling. And like I said, like, this girl, like, from the get, like, I feel like had it out to get. But uh, honestly, on a light note, I really wanted to share this story with you guys because I know it's really crazy. Um, and, like, if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, <laughs> let me know down below. If you like this video, please give me a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys! <laughs>